Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. Today I am going to try and uh, paint on a shoe. I'm going to pour some paint on a shoe and hopefully it looks fabulous and uh, somebody might wear it. Probably me. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just picked up a cheap pair of shoes at Target. Ten bucks, canvas shoes, pretty basic. And I um, took some uh, frog tape and taped off the shoe. This is the green tape. And then I put a layer of gray paint over it in hopes that um, that'll help the paint flow. So the colors I'm going to use are, I mostly use um, Artist's Loft full of Flow Acrylics. And this is an Artist Law Flow Acrylic Yellow. What I covered the shoe with to begin with is a, is a flow, or excuse me, here, Artist Law Flow Acrylics Gray. And all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol. No water, no silicone. I'm using, uh, this is an, actually an Artist Loft blue and then I've I guess I'm, I guess I'm using a variety of paint brands I'm using using artist loft I'm using um, uh, this one is decor and this is a metallic it's a peacock pearl metallic so I'm supposing that since I've got some yellow a lot of yellow and blue I'm going to end up with a green on my shoe, but this gray um, top coat or bottom coat, I guess, may alter that a little bit. Um, okay, so yeah, I've got tons of paint. Uh, you can see I've got a lot of yellow here. I wish I didn't have quite so much yellow. I got a little eager when I was pouring, <laughs> when I was pouring and filling my cup. So while I, let, while I let that sit a moment, I'll just quickly tell you. So yes, I did. I took these cheap $10 shoes from Target, canvas shoes. I took out the laces. I uh, sprayed a little bit of water on the um, on the shoe before I before I put the gray paint on there <clears throat> because it tends to tighten the um, canvas a little bit. Thought that might help help it uh, stay in place while I pour my paint on it, and then. Um, yeah, I just taped it off with some frog tape on the areas I don't want the paint to hit. And that's pretty much it. I also, I guess I stuffed in some um, wax paper inside to sort of help the shoe hold its form. Because I'm worried about the paint being heavy and making the canvas, uh, the, sh the shoe canvas, sag a little bit. So I stuffed a little... Um, wax paper in there see if I can help it hold its form so what I was thinking is I would do um, kind of a ring pour um, I saw a video by a gal named Donna Truel and I'll try and put her link the link to her video in in the description below and she um, she put together a pretty extensive video with a lot of great information and so I watched that and tried to glean any, any tips I could out of that and it was very helpful so hopefully I can be as successful as she was. So okay I think I'm ready let's just get this going. Again I think I'm going to try it for sort of a traveling ring pour or traveling ring pour. I'm not too worried about the eyelets of where the shoelaces go. I figure either they'll get paint on them or they won't. I don't know. I'm kind of wanting a stripy sort of look. And it looks like that might be what I'm going to get. Which is good. Whoa, that was a little heavy. <laughs> I'm trying to be slow, but that's not my forte. Oh, I kind of like what this 
how this looks. The colors are cool. It's kind of springy. Of course, it's winter time right now, so it doesn't apply, but like my blue has sunk to the bottom, which seems to be the case with the darker colors. Try to cover as much of the shoe as I can. <clears throat> I was wondering about like, how well this is going to hold up. And I did a little bit more reading on the internet and YouTube videos. And um, somewhere along the line, someone suggested um, once it's dry and it's all cured to do uh, basically sp uh, spray on some Scotch Guard. So I think I'll try that. Ooh, I kinda like this. This is funky. I'm going to touch up the places that I missed, edges mostly, looks like, and when I was watching Donna's video, she pulled out her torch, and I thought, oh no, why are you torching this? It's going to burn, <laughs> but it was fine, of course, so I, I'm going to give that a try to see if I can get some cells or something more interesting coming out with the, with the pattern. So I am going to torch this once I get these... Um, spots covered that I missed. Yeah. Oh, take a look at that. I like the I like the pattern that came out. And it is green, which is there's a lot of green feel to it, which is kind of what I was hoping for. I'm a fan of green. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's try and torch it a little bit. Ever so careful. See a spot I missed. Of course, I've got wax paper inside of the shoe, so yeah, that makes me nervous with the fire. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be calling the fire department in a minute. Yeah. Doesn't look like the torch is doing much for me, so I'm gonna let that go. But I'm gonna touch up the edges here. Oh, I really like that. On the tongue of the shoe. Oh, speaking of the tongue of the shoe, so there's a lot of the tongue inside that you can't see when you'd be wearing the shoe that didn't get coated. I think I'm gonna leave that though, because I'm gonna, I'm afraid if I mess with it, I might ruin my cool pattern here on the tongue. So I'm gonna leave that. Okay, yeah, I think I like this. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit. And I suppose it's gonna take a while to dry because there's a lot of paint on there. And I will try and post the results once it's dry and I remove the tape and clean it up a little bit. And then, of course, I've got this partner here that needs to be taken tended to, so I will try and get a match as close as I can to this so that you got a decent pair of shoes to wear. And yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. It looks pretty cool to me. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you wondered if you could ever pour paint on a shoe, yep, yeah, you can do it. I did it. I don't know. It can be done. <laughs> don't be afraid to pour on anything. <laughs> That's my philosophy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. Bye-bye.